Hello, so today we're here with Karen. Look at her beautiful hair. She has let it grow in for how long did you say, about a year or so? Yeah, exactly, a year. A year. So there's a couple things that we want to do. One, we want to bring her shattered root up, which we have a video like that, so I'm not going to show you the technique that we're using. This video is going to be more about how to lift dark ethnic hair to be nice and light, especially when there's this much regrowth, because sometimes when you let your hair grow for a really long time, if you're not lifting it enough, you're gonna see a little bit of banding there, and we want it to be a seamless color. Also, the ends she thinks has gotten pretty brassy. We might lighten those out a little bit more as well. So in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about one, lightening ethnic hair, and two, we're gonna talk about toner and how to tone things so that it's gonna be even through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix her lightener, and then I'm gonna section her into the four quadrants. So here you can see how much dark she has underneath and you can see how long her hair actually is. Okay, so usually with ethnic hair what I like to do is start in one of the back quadrants. One, the hair is coarser so it's going to take longer to lift. Because it's coarser it also is um, stronger so you can leave the lightener on longer. So what I always do, not always, but what I'm doing today is I had mixed Lamy with Continuum and Blue Additive and 20 Vol. I'm going to start this back here. With each quadrant, I'm going to start to slowly work in a little bit of 30 volume. I only mixed 18 grams because I want to mix it pretty frequently to keep it very fresh. Eventually, when I get to the front, I'm going to be using 30 Vol. And I'm going to highlight that all into a little cheat sheet for you guys in the end. But I'm going to go through, I'm going to link one of the videos with the method that I'm going to use to create this shattered root look and then we'll be back once we have it all applied. So here's her hair all foiled. Now what we're starting to do is take out some of her ends and lighten her ends like that just so that we give it a little bit of a boost but this is the rest of her hair done. See like these pieces will need to lighten out but we didn't want to put them in the foil the whole time because it would over process the hair. Here's her hair processing. You can see how beautifully even it is. Where the cool additive was, it's a little deceiving. It looks blue, but it's not blue. It's actually nice and icy. So here is the toner wash, oh, it's not the toner, the lightener washed out. You can see there's bands, a little bit, of, a little bit more gold, some of that more orangey pieces. So we're gonna have to mix a couple different toners in order to neutralize it all to one color. So when choosing a toner, you really have to consider the level of remaining pigment that is showing. So if you have something that is showing yellow, you're going to have to pick a light violet. If you have something showing more red, you're going to show green. And then when you're doing these big color corrections, you're going to you're you're going to you're going to possibly have different bands. You might have yellow, some yellow orange, some red showing. You probably won't have red showing, but if you did, then you'd mix different toners for every level of banding that you're gonna have. So here's her hair all powder dried. We'll show you a little close up in a second. Today I'm gonna be styling her hair with a blow kit. She likes tons of body, right? So we're putting in replenishing oil first, not replenish oil, replenish oil. This one's filled with vitamin E, avocado oil, and argan oil. It's designed to fill all the little cracks and crevices in your hair and make it look nice and smooth and shiny. I always start by running the product down through the mid shaft ends and then I work my way up and this girl has a lot of hair. It took me over to just to foil it. That, now I'm going to put in some volume. Again, the best way to work with volume is to really break it down in your hands. You're going to start with putting it into through the crown and again, you don't want the hair to be too wet. You want it to be a little just a little damp because otherwise it's going to be too sticky. When you start to blow dry it too, you should power dry it with just your fingers. Dry up that volume a little bit before you get a brush into it because it's designed to amplify body. It has a lot of tap and a lot of holding power. So if you work with it from wet, it's going to be really hard to get dry and get your hands through it. Of course, some heat protector. This you want to make sure you're missing evenly all over. This is what's going to put a thin barrier onto your hair to protect it from all the heat from the dryer, your irons. Because you got to think, 
Irons get to like 450 degrees Fahrenheit and you can cook frozen chicken at that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna quickly power dry it and then I'm gonna blow it out with a flat brush. So here's her hair all finished. You can see it's nice and even throughout. Nice and healthy, nice and shiny. How does it feel? I love it. Do you feel like a new woman? <laughs> so if you have any questions about how to formulate for this or how we did the pattern, just put your information into the link right here. We'll send you out a cheat sheet. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. We will get back to you. We do release new videos every week, so make sure to tune in and subscribe. See you next week. Bye.